Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Ladies and gentlemen from Lost Wages, Nevada, it's the musical sounds of Stephen Pearl. Well, everyone loves to sing. I'm licking my chops because I just had a glass of V8 vegetable juice. Mm. That's right, Jack. Tomatoes, carrots, celery, beets, parsley, lettuce, spinach, and watercress. These are the eight vegetables found in each serving of delicious V8 juice. You remember Ooh, all the contents of V8 vegetable oh, juice? Oh, hell yeah. Sodium and all, man. I, I got to tell you, I uh, when I was a kid, I tried uh, V8 because I was told that it was you know good for you. And uh, I hated the stuff. I just hated it. I, everybody I, hates it but me. Everybody hates it but you. And they still I hate it but me. And I, you know what else? I also love that grosses most people out in this country is Clamato juice. Oh, Cl Clamato. oh Clamato. Clamato, I think they call they it. They love it in Canada. If you, have a, if you order a Bloody Mary in Canada, they put it with Clamato juice. Do you know? But, man, it, I love that stuff, and it, everybody hates it. It's funny, but there are terrible things in every country that seem to be integrated into that country. I'll tell you one that I couldn't believe. Have you ever tried Nescafe? Uh, I don't think so. No, and I don't think most Americans have. And if you've ever tried Nescafe, it's simply this coffee-like gruel. <laughs> that that so you go to Greece and there are two kinds of coffee that are extremely popular one is of course the normal Greek coffee which you get with grounds in the bottom of the cup mm. okay and the other it, they love it in that country is Nescafe Nescafe yeah it, you, it, you go anywhere they go you want coffee or Nescafe uh, and people yeah, order get Nescafe like crazy. Not do not real Greek. You don't do, you don't get Nescafe. You get so it's, it, it's not surprising to me. It's not surprising to me that in Canada they find Clamato juice a good I idea. Clamato. I, I feel right at home when I say, "Give me a Clamato." Really? Jeez. You're one of us, eh? Welcome to the club, eh? My, I'm I, missing out the Saskatchewan. You fit in, boy. I just, uh, you know, I don't know if I can go for Clamato juice. It's just... I love that stuff. Right. I went through two bottles of it yesterday. I'm a Clamata holic. Really? Yeah. Is it, and that's the way you've been spending oh, the... Like the, the it's expensive, too. You get a thing like a, you know, whatever, at the, yeah. a foot-tall bottle. And that's about the, that's the way you've been stuff. spending the uh, the pandemic, is it? Yeah, drink, drinking my vegetables and clam juice and stuff. So how, just, how, how, over, how over is the is the pandemic now in Las Vegas? How old the, the whole pantan pantanic thing is? Uh, by the way, they say there's another spike in it, and there's going to be a shortage of alphabet soup and Gordon Jump memorabilia. So uh, <laughs> that's not going to be good. Gordon Jump memorabilia? You, really, You're Gordon yeah, Jump? Yeah, it's going to be bad, man. So <laughs> people are taking their masks off now. I went to the gym the other night; nobody was wearing a mask, and that was great. And uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if they're getting the shots or not, but uh, things seem to be lightening up a bit. Well, you got the shot, right? Yeah, yeah, whatever you want. Sure, oh, sure. Oh, I did. No, yeah, did right. you? Did you? Yeah, yeah whatever. You know. wait, 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 wait. Don't give me that whatever. Did you I get it? You know, but some came up, you know. You didn't? Hey, you haven't gotten it yet? Yeah, sure. You know, whatever you want. Wait, yeah, no, sure. no, no, come on. I made it myself. Come on, you're talking. I you, I learned how to make the yeah, vaccine myself. I taught a sauce you're, you're and a talking to, and You're jello. talking to your old friend Alex here, okay? Yeah, I'm did, all ears. Did, did you get this vaccine shot? Yeah, okay. What do you mean, yeah, okay? Did you or didn't you? Well, you know, I was on my way there to get the shot, and you know, something came up, you know? Something came up. 
<laughs> Something fell off the truck. I had to go Why pick it up. Why are you waiting to get the shot? You could crawl out of bed, go to the what closest. What if this thing makes you blind in two years? They don't know about it. It's, you know, the oh, oh, yeah. Shot. No, they no, do. they do. They Not do. When it came out when okay. it was ready to. They do know about it. The flu shot came out when it was ready to. The flu vaccine. This was created in a hurry. Come on, it's got to be done by noon, Phil. Come it on. was created in a hurry? No, it took it 15 years to be created. Well, nobody knew what this flu was 15 years ago. That's no, no, but this was a technology that they had created waiting for the proper situation uh -huh. to come along to use it on. And that's what it is. It's not even a vaccine, really. You're not getting a piece of the uh, of the uh, thing. You're getting a, a thing that tells your body to go ahead and attack these guys. You know, But it, isn't an, it doesn't create antibodies or anything like that. So I mean, Be strong like bull, very healthy. Drink hot and river water. Yeah, Nothing right. Happened. Right. You just came out Nothing of happy. Ha Falling piano. Don't hurt me. You, you were in the hospital having an operation, so your immunity's compromised. That was last year. I had my. Uh, I know, but still, that. Look at me now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Right. Well, all I'm saying is, uh, yeah, I don't want my good friend Stephen Pearl to come down with this thing. Well, you know, 65 is a good age to go. You're gonna go. But don't you, get too old? Don't, don't you care about helping the rest of the country become immune? <laughs> the rest of the country? <laughs> oh, jeez almighty. Oh, I care about me and my cats. The selfishness of Stephen Pearl. So, look, Let me Stephen, tell you something. The Earth is flat. There are 17 Paul McCartneys walking around, and we never went to the moon. Listen, How about that? Go, go, uh, we go, go get your... I'm, I'm starting a hey, cold, cold. Hey, you hey, know, listen to me. Listen to me, Stephen. Get the fucking shot. Okay. <laughs> Give it away at Smith's supermarket. Up here. You, you could probably go down to the local dog pound and get it. You know, oh, I get mean, them everywhere. They give them away at the clown college. They give them away at the methadone clinic. You know, wherever you go, you get flu shots, flu shots. Are they? Are they? Maybe they're giving you little gifts and prizes if you get it. You know. Uh -huh. Oh, I mean, in certain states, like here in New York, they're giving away scholarships. Give me a new car. I'll get the shot. The, in uh, you, in uh, I think works, it, where was it Ohio, they were spending they were giving away a million dollars a day as a, a lottery dollars. a lottery if you got the shot. Yikes! And I'm thinking I got the shot early. Don't I get something? Ah. I don't get you something. Get I don't get the flu. You're going to be healthy all the live long day. You have to forgive me. They're working on they're doing a lawnmower thing on the grounds outside. So. Really? So. Everyone whose name ends in the letters EZ, turn off your leaf blowers. Yeah. So so what's uh, what's new in the comedy biz business there? Let's see. We filmed another commercial on Monday, so I'll let you know when that one's coming out. Oh, yeah. And uh, I'm a busy boy, and uh, I got it. I got really nothing going on until the end of June, so I'm just kind of hanging out till then. Really? It's, but the clubs yeah. are opening up, right? Yeah, they're opening up, so uh, I'm working in June, I'm working in Reno in July, I'm going to hopefully work Brad Gallett's club in the, the end of the summer, we'll see, they mm -hmm. told me to email them in the middle of the summer, so I will. So have you worked some clubs lately? Uh, yes, I worked uh, at Jokesters last week, mm -hmm. I showed up, somebody else didn't show up, so I went out of their place and did a little comedy set for the kids out there. Yeah, and so, what, you know, were I'm, the... I'm going on what I want to go on, pretty much. Were the audiences, the were the audiences wearing masks? No, nobody's wearing masks. Really? There was one woman in the audience wearing a mask, like I, I liberated her. Well, here's the thing. See, you, if you don't have the shot, and all these people are maskless, your chances are getting better of getting it. I agree. You know, I went to my doctor yesterday, my neurologist, one of my many doctors now. As you get older, <laughs> you get many doctors. Yes. But I went to my neurologist, and he said that uh, he he said, well, I got to put the mask on. You got to keep the mask on. We're in a hospital setting. I have to put on the rubber gloves. He said, but there's really no reason. He says, you've gotten the shot. I've gotten the shot. There's no way we're giving it to each other, uh -huh. or getting it. And so I, you know, he he the, he was kind of he kind of felt the hospital was getting a little draconian about the whole thing because we're past that, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, but they were hit badly, and they, they had rules, and the rules are still in, uh, in force there. 
Huh? Uh, so I put on, I had my mask on, and, you know, we did my whole thing, and then I got out of there and took the fucking mask off. I'm walk. I love walk, I t- love taking my walk, I take a walk every day now. Uh-huh, that's uh, good. Uh, and uh, I love taking it without the mask, because when I had yes. the mask, I was short of breath, and it was really hard. Yeah, to- you can fucking breathe without the mask. Yeah. So it, it, the, the first day that the CDC said, you don't have to wear a mask, I went out and took my walk without the mask, and I felt like the first time, you know, you ever went in a pool without your trunks on? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, like my, ba- my balls have freedom now. Yeah. And, yes. it, and, and it, it really was, it was a great feeling. I was happy. I was I, skipping down the street, and I can't even it's skip fun. anymore. I'm happy, too. Yeah, you know, that's one thing I can't do when I as I've gotten older. I can't skip any longer. No, nah, I can't skip steps or you walk up and beat it. So, oh, yeah, you know I, steps. I have to, I have to hold onto a handrail. Not because oh. not because I can't do it without the handrail, but because I just want to prevent my chance of falling at all. Oh, you darn well better hold on to that handrail. It's there for a reason, Mister. Hey, do you use it? Oh, always. I've used it when I was young. And I oh, use really? It when I really? Because, uh, and, uh, you know, I mean, I, I may take my hand off the handrail and walk down the steps, but I want to know it's right there. So oh, you want to, yes, it. it's within reach. And then I have to move my, go, uh, down steep steps, I have to move my feet sideways down the steps. Yes. So it's, yeah. it's, it's, uh, it's a whole new world for Al. I just, yeah. I, suddenly <laughs> I realized one day I am old. I am really fucking old. No. Nah. <laughs> you know. I know people can't believe I saw Jimi Hendrix. That's old. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> used to not be old. Yeah, that is old. You start giving my my grandfather saw Jimi Hendrix. Well, you know. What can you do? You get you a kid. You, you get a kid today beer. who's like thirty, and he will say to you, "Who's Jimi Hendrix?" Oh, exactly. You know. In fact, there's people. Are, there are people out there that are are young, and they're in their thirties. I'm saying, who go? Who was Paul Newman? Oh, yeah. They won't know who Bob Hope is. They wouldn't know who John Lennon was. People in their 40s. Probably. Yeah, I mean, and it, and right. it's, it's because, you know, when I, I always talk about this. When I was a kid, I was always interested in what went on before I was born. Excuse me, I'm doing this to my eyes because I, the allergies are kicking in today. Uh, 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 that I, I, I just wanted to always know what went on before I was born. You know, so I listened to old records before I was yeah, born. Cool. I went and watched old movies before I was sure. born. My father used to tell me because he was a musician, so he played with these bands about the music before I was born. Did I just lose your audio here? Yes, I lost your audio. What are you doing? Now I can't hear you. Now I can't hear you because you keep playing with that. Here, let me do something here. Maybe I can do it. Uh, uh, ask to unmute. I'm asking. Unmute. Oh, there, there you go. I'm back. What were you doing? Shit. Hold on. God damn it. What? Oh, wait, you there? Yeah. Oh. Why, do you there keep you pl- why do you keep playing with the phone? Because you got cut off when the phone rang. Oh, geez. Can't you put that thing on some kind of hold so that it won't ring while you're talking to me? I don't know how to do that. You gotta be. You gotta have found, a, found somebody who can fix my desktop computer for fifty bucks. But yeah, you found somebody. Yeah, I'm gonna take it there like within the next week or so, maybe two weeks from well, now. Why don't you take it right now? I don't want to take it right now. Oh, see, see, in fact, while you do it, take it right now and get your vaccination. Oh, okay, sure, okay, I'll do that. Not today. So, so I still have two more weeks of having to talk to you like this, huh? It's one day. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't even charge you 50 bucks if I was there. Well, I wish you were here. You do it for nothing. You probably do it quicker than the guy's going to do all it. You do, all you do is you, you reformat the hard drive, which wipes everything off your hard drive, and then you got to reinstall the operating system, which <laughs> usually it'll talk you through it. Yeah. And... Uh, you install a new operating system, and since you didn't have anything on there you really cared about, you're good to go. Nothing. You know, you put in a new password. See, what the problem was, folks, in case you don't remember, in the last episode of What's Happening with Stephen uh-huh. Pearl, uh, Stephen uh, was uh, doing, uh, uh, couldn't use his computer because he forgot his password, or whatever his password no, I didn't was. I it. it just wouldn't let me on with it. Wouldn't let you on with it. Now, 
you know, it could have been something as simple as, did you have a keyboard? Yes, everybody uh, okay. has a keyboard. The keyboard could have gone slightly bad, and when you put in your letters, it was putting them in wrong. Uh-huh. Do you know what I'm saying? So it could I even like, could it, a password because I'm the only one using it. So well, I yeah, need a password. Yeah, yeah, but if you have a if you have a uh, uh, like I have here, folks, a uh, uh, keypad. I actually ordered two of these because I keep dropping water in it, and it, with uh, water, yeah. it just it changes everything. I, whatever I type it, it won't type if I put in my password. It puts it in all wrong because it right. doesn't accept that that's what the letter is. So it could be something as simple as that. You know, mm. I don't know. But I'm not there. I'm not there, which is lucky for me because I hate Las Vegas. Ah. Um, I don't hate it. You know, I can take Las Vegas for about two days, uh -huh. and that's it. I See, never thought I liked living here, but I really wouldn't want to be anywhere else at the moment than New York. I, you feel about Las Vegas like I feel about New York. So, well, I don't love New York. I, I would get out of here tomorrow if it weren't for uh -huh. my wife. You know, she got a good job here. Yeah, uh, I'm kind of her pimp, so I go. The bitch is out go. making me money today, uh, yeah. and um, she also has all her friends here. So when I talk uh, about moving out of the city, moving to another part of the country, or whatever, even moving to another country, she goes live it. I can't do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Never see the Leibowitzes again. You know, but she zooms most of her friends anyway. Yeah, you know, we can be anywhere. Yeah, she talks to her, her best girlfriend every day at 3 o'clock on FaceTime. Uh -huh. And they just blah, 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 blah. She hasn't, you know, she's seen her maybe twice in a year, but it's not like she hasn't seen her. It's not like I haven't seen you. Uh, you know, I my friend Shecky. I, uh, I talk to him about once a week with video. Uh -huh. And I go, you know, I haven't missed him because there's a kind of a physical contact here yeah. of sorts. So. You know, oh man, I hate the, these allergies. Yeah. God, they're driving me fucking nuts. New York allergies. Yeah. So, uh, so you you're still married, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. What do you mean you think so? Yeah, we're still together. She's in California. You know, I lo I love you. You are the most. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? You're you're, you're the most non-committal human being on just about everything. Well, I, I'm gonna in two weeks. I'm gonna get my computer fixed. Nah, may, uh, maybe I'll get the vaccination. I think I'm still married. I mean, is there anything that you can say is definite in your life right now? Uh, I'm breathing right now, so you know that's good. Well, hail, hail, hail. Got babies. You, you got hail, babies. Hail, rock and roll. Yeah, the cats always hang out with you. Oh, well, where, where else are they going to go? I'm the only one they trust. Yeah, how many rooms is that apartment? Uh, not counting the big closet, not counting the bathroom. I got two rooms here, plus a kitchen area. So you got a living room, right? Yeah. Kitchen? That's very nice. Yeah. Got the living room is pretty much there. I'm usually in the bedroom because that's where the TV is. Yeah, well, I... Yeah, I'm, I'm usually wherever the TV is too. Exactly. You got to be in front of the TV. But I so try, I, I try to not watch it too much. I, I, I well, have it on, but I don't watch too much. What do you the, watch when night. it's What do you watch when it's on? When it's on, I like the news. Yeah, especially the local news. They show you all the car accidents and the fights that people got into here. So yeah. the drunken ball. So that's fun. Yeah. And uh, let's see. Then at four o'clock, I watch an hour with the monsters. I never miss the monsters. Because I'm, I'm a huge Al Lewis fan, although I will always remember him more as uh, Leo Schnauzer than Grandpa Monster. I will so. always remember him. Well, I, I got to know him later on in the years, you know, uh, and he was the he was the smartest guy I've ever known. I thought he was. I didn't know. I, him. I, I met him once. I don't know early earlier on in my career. Okay, and then I met up with him later on in my career. So I, a span of maybe 15 years had passed, and I went up to him and I said, hi, I just want to introduce myself. Said, oh, you're Alex Bennett. Yeah. He remembered me after 15 years. He had a good memory, you dope. He, it, well, you know, his big deal was not being on the Munsters and not being on sitcoms and not being in vaudeville, which I think he was in, but as a, what, a basketball scout? Uh, scout? Something like that? Did you know that? Was he a basketball scout? He was, he was a sports scout. I think it was for basketball. Oh, really? Yeah. 
I did not know that. And was that this was, before and, the fame? Or no, this? this was later on in life. This later was on, after wow. the Munsters, after Car 54, Where Are You? Gee. All those things, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I like the way you put the ball through that hoop, you big dope. How would you like to play for the Nets? I mean, really, really smart. You just didn't want to get too close to him because he spit a lot when he talked. Oh, well, that's not good. Yeah, you know, he's one of those spitters, you know. No, you know, I don't like spitters. You know, but he I went, how, how old was he when he died? Do you know? Uh, some say he was born in 1910, and other reports say he was born in 1924. He had an old face when he was young, so it's hard to tell. So uh, he might have been in his 90s or something. He was even non-committal about his age. He's, yeah, exactly. I like that. Well, uh, yeah, I mean. Now, uh, uh, yeah, but I mean, he was. Uh, everybody loved Al. You know, there's nothing about Al that was just you, you loved him. He was he was cool. <laughs> he was cool. Um, oh, he's pe- now people out there. Him. Now there are kids out there listening. No, there aren't kids listening. Fuck it. Why do I need to tell them? There's no way. But there are people who wonder who Al Lewis was, and they're well, only in their fifties. Google it. He was on the Munsters. He was Grandpa Munster. He was on Car 54, Where Are You, before that, yep. with Fred Gwynn. Yep. Leo Schnauzer. Leo Schnauzer. And what did he do? <laughs> did he do, do any sitcoms after that? I don't know. He'd appear on some, but he, no, he wasn't star on any. Yeah. But he was really cool. I really liked oh, him. I, yeah. He, see, I, want, I always want to smoke a joint with him. Yeah, great guy. Never hey, got to. Never will. Poor well, me. Listen, uh, time for us to shuffle along here. Well, good night, folks. But we'll see you next week. Good, good talking to you again. And I, and, and by the time I see you next, here's your homework assignment. Okay. Get, Get a fucking shot. vaccination. All right. <laughs> no, I want a committal from you. I don't want. All right. No. Mm. Committal. <laughs> committal. You're going to get a vaccine, right? Yeah, sure, sure, yeah, sure. <laughs> I do what he says. Do you say? <laughs> sure, sure, sure. I'm gonna do. Let it. me know sure. what do you say. What do you know? What sure. do you say? What I'm do you gonna know? get it. I'm gonna get a vaccination. Hey, w- w- your cat's gonna get a vaccination before you. Vaccination. Which one is that? Is that a Siamese? I am. He's the first oh, one. Oh yeah. Oh, I love Siamese cats. He's I, beautiful. Oh. Uh, How old is he? I think we got him when he was a baby, and yeah, about twelve. Other, oh man, he's nine years old already. Wow, yeah. Jeez. I had a Siamese that lived to be, what, 19, 18, 19? Oh, that'd be great. I hope I kill over before he does. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's Maybe a horrible... The good thing about having pets is it's a wonderful thing. See, they're oh, it wonderful. Is. It's feel, it's warm, it's, and it you, you, you create a bond with them. And the bad thing about it is, okay, they die eventually, and ah, you've got to put up with that. You it know? sucks, Nick, but look at you. You know, you get really sad, and it's like the passing sad. of a dear friend. You know. Well, George Carlin had a bit where you get a dog and it dies, and but it's cool because you can go to the pet shop with the dead dog, throw it on the counter, and go, that was great, man. Give me another one just like it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's Stephen Pearl. See you in a couple of weeks, okay, Stephen? Okay, sure. Fully vaccinated, computerized and everything. Yeah, sure, I bet. This <laughs> is Stephen <laughs> Pearl. <laughs> Bye-bye. Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go, folks. Another uh, another uh, ramble. Uh, and we're uh, going to have uh, some people here call a citizen panel. And uh, hopefully they will all be joining us tonight. Uh, and we'll see what uh, what's up with them. So uh, let's... Uh, uh, what the hell? Let's let's go to them. Let me see here. Admit all. All right. If I push that, I start admitting all these people, and they should start coming up. Unfortunately, I've got to change the view here to gallery so it looks better. And uh, boy, your uh, your your picture is very bright, Steve. Some people here. Yeah, I want to fix that. Hold on. Yeah, and of course. Jeffrey has the same problem he has every night, and he just signed off. <laughs> One night, I want to see Jeff just, come on, no problems. <laughs> anyway. Hey, Charlie, how you doing? Doing pretty good. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty good. 
For an old man. For an old man, yeah. Uh, by the way, I noticed you were saying that uh, we have more cases now again. We're getting more. We were back the last two days. have been over a thousand deaths. So we're getting more infectious now. I don't know. It's, it's just really bizarre. We went almost a month without being over a thousand. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Really? Because New York is down. Two in a row. New York today was down to ten. So that's pretty good, you know. And our infection rate is somewhere like about point uh, five six or something like that. So we're pretty good, you know. But I don't know what's happening. Is it Texas? Who? What states? Do you know? No, I just uh, <laughs> look at the U.S. and I look at Texas. Um, Texas had forty nine deaths today yeah now they've got a smaller population <laughs> than we do here in new york so they should be oh no oh no interrupted shut down oh here we go again yeah. no texas is Learn second after Morgan. california wait wait, wait 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 hold on a second shit. u.s interrupted shut down what what <laughs> whoa what's shutting down no he's got <laughs> something on that's that's speaking to him um you know that's reading the screen or something. Uh, well, it apparently stopped, Jeff. It did? I don't know. Yeah. On your computer, uh, uh, just click on something. Yeah, I just took that off. Yeah. How is it now? That's fine. Yeah, it's good. You're fine. Now, what I did to stop it, I don't know. I, I don't know. It seems to happen every day. Well, you should ask. Uh, you should ask your wife about that because she's good at that sort of thing. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. So, Sorry, guys. That's okay. That's fine. Uh, gee, where's the, where's Alan? Alan's not here. Uh, uh, Brian's yeah, he's not supposed here. To be here tonight. Yeah, he's supposed to be here tonight. Mm. Um. Anyway, um, be that as it may. Oh, here comes Alan. I see. Here he is. Yeah. There he is. Why? Uh, Actually, why did I even bring that up? It I, you know, <laughs> last night we had more, more people watching this show than when we have Alan on. So, He's got a lot of friends. By the way, i, I got to be nice to Alan. Alan sent me this, right? Is it, you sent me this, right? What is it? This goop? Yeah. Yeah, this is a, for hand exercise. This is the soft one i've got there. oh yeah i didn't send that to you you didn't send it to me no probably phil he was talking about sending it to you oh really because i all i know is i get these things and it it says to alex bennett schwarzman but it doesn't say who it's from yeah well but uh, here it is and and then phil, phil told you that he was going to send you one. Oh, oh this was the stuff he suggested i thought you had yeah. suggested it yeah it's okay and it comes so, in different uh, different styles and shapes. I'm using this only because there's a green one, and if I did that, it would disappear. Because yeah. of our... So uh, I watched the show last night at 2 in the morning when I got home. Yeah. And I think the reason why you had so many people is you were showing all those people that wanted to be your friends on Facebook. Those yeah. Were, <laughs> some of those women were really beautiful. Well, I mean, they, they have to be. That's their profession. Yeah. You know, but uh, I get those. If I go under, if I go under five hundred thousand people on my Facebook page, all of a sudden that's all I get. You know, and that's why I always beg people: be, be, a, please friend me on Facebook because I don't want to have to deal with that. Yeah. You know. So, uh, you, you talked about where Phil was taking a, a, a bunch of guns to. Pahrump. The hat yep. that I'm wearing is the is where he's going. It's a, I'm also a member, but I I won't be going anytime soon. It's called Front Sight, mm -hmm. and it's a, a shooting school in Pahrump. A shooting school. Uh, That's very nice. You get to learn how to shoot people. Well, it's that's actually uh, what it's geared towards. Yeah. Too bad that uh, guy in uh, San Jose didn't go to that school. He might have uh, been able to kill more people. Maybe. It, so. Yeah. It's about self-defense and not about killing a bunch of people innocently. Yeah, but you know what? One man's self-defense is another man's aggressiveness. I guess you don't even have to go to school in Texas anymore or anything. You nope. just walk into the store, 
pluck no, the money yeah. down, walk yeah, away. No waiting list, no nothing. Just walk in, buy one. I, buy a I gun just, and start shooting. Yep. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens in Texas. If we if the homicide rate goes way up, then we will know that that was not a smart move. Well, the homicide rate was always high in, in, uh, in oh, Houston, yeah. especially in the days when I was there, because they had... You know, they you could you could literally be, walk around with sidearms. Yep. And so on Saturday night, people would go into bars, get drunk, they had guns with them, and they start shooting up the place and killing each other. And yeah. I, when I was uh, I was at this radio station, uh, uh, I uh, they they were they were doing the news. A guy there was a guy there, Richard Dobbin, who was the newsman, and I said to him once. I read that there's a lot of deaths and stuff over the weekend in bars and so on. Why don't you ever report them? He says, "Oh, that's just common here in Houston." Yeah, that's just you know, so night. it's it's not news, you know. <laughs> it's common. Yeah, it's not news. So, what the hell, you know? But anyway, Phil was going down there uh, like an army with all this stuff in the trunk of his car. I would imagine. If the police stopped him, they'd stop him for a while, you know, because he'd have to, you know, explain. Yeah, he, he had a, hmm? In California, you got to you got to lock the, the, the firearms up in a locked container, mm -hmm. unloaded with the ammo or and, and or magazines in a separate area from it. In a separate area from it. Yeah, I don't know what Nevada laws are as far as carrying guns in your car, but yeah, you know. So uh, he got a little lost getting there. Well, he took the wrong turn. He got there. It took him a lot longer, and he was pretty frustrated. So that's what happens when you have a GPS that he hasn't updated since 2011. Oh, really? He couldn't get. He couldn't find his way down there. Uh, well, you know, if he'd followed my directions, because I drive to Vegas every year usually, I would have got him there, but he took the route, and after two hours of the windy road going through Death Valley, he wasn't too happy. And so, uh, but he unstressed a lot easier than I would have. So. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's got, his, he's got his girlfriend with him, and so she'll keep him company. Mm -hmm. and we so forget, he'll... we forget he does have a girlfriend, but then again, so did Hitler. So, you know, it's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's got to be the answer of the day. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, and Kathleen is here. Kathleen, hello. Good evening. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? How is everything in Guadalajara? Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Not too hot. Not too cold. It's perfect. Oh boy. Oh boy. I know. Boo hoo for me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, big boo hoo. Yeah, yeah, I should, uh, I should, I, I got to find myself a place in the country. That's what I got to do. Yes. You know? But then I said, the Marjorie says to me, well, how am I going to see all my girlfriends? She sees them every day on Zoom. She hasn't seen them in a year. You know, with Zoom and things like that, hey, if we just, as long as we've got a good wife, a good uh, internet connection. I That's can, all you need. I can do this show, and she can see her yep. girlfriends. You know. Yeah. You know. Well, how am I gonna? You know, like, how am I gonna make money and whatever? Well, keep your job. Just do it remotely. You know, we're used to that now. Totally. So anyway, it's supposed to be a heat wave in the Bay Area starting Sunday. Really? We're Good for we're, them. It's supposed to yeah. get. It's supposed to get cooler here. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully it'll snow in New yeah, York. Yeah, but a heat wave in the Bay Area in San Francisco is like 80 degrees. You know. What are you looking down at? Uh, I'm texting a uh, Solano County lieutenant that I know. Sheriff's oh, I'm, I'm sorry for bothering you. No, it's okay. <laughs> don't worry about it. I'm fine. Thanks. By the way, you look good now, Trucker Steve. I don't know what the, all that brightness was, but mm -hmm. you're, you're fine now. You look terrific. He's pretty great. bright now. It's looking good, though. Are we going to get some other callers here? Come on. Yeah. Well, they probably, Why don't you they, put some of that women up there again or something? Maybe it was me not being here. Well, I mean, that could have something to do with it. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, but we, uh, uh, we, we, you know. Yeah, I heard you at the end of the show say, maybe, you, ought, you know, we had more callers. Maybe we ought to ask Alan not to call. And Brian <laughs> said, now be nice. 
<laughs> yeah, and then Brian's not here tonight. Yeah, thanks a lot, Brian. <laughs> he gets on a little late. Oh, it's Thursday. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, doesn't he have a movie night or work late night or <laughs> something? I don't know. I don't know. Everybody's got something lately. I, I'm thinking of bringing of, of stopping this daily show. Maybe maybe doing it once a week or something. Yeah. yeah. What would I do with my evenings? Yeah. What would I? What would you? Well, you're gonna you're gonna have. Uh, you said you're gonna have uh, uh, baseball soon. Yeah, July. July. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many nights a week is that gonna take from you? Uh, it depends. I'll sign up for two nights, but we'll see how many I end up working. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what time is? And it my over? husband Tony is very busy. Your husband Tony is very busy. Yes. Yeah, you mean Tony, 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 our Tony. My Tony. Oh, your Tony. What do you mean, your, your Tony? Hold on a second. My Tony. What do you mean, They're your married, Tony? married, Alex. Is she's married? I don't think so. Are you married? <laughs> huh? To Tony. To Tony. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. I, I thought you were married, married. <laughs> no, she's just married to Tony. All right. Yeah, that's just cool. last weekend. So she lives in La 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 and in uh, well, in uh, Queens. Uh, in La La. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, you were you for, something about that wallpaper in uh, Tony's place? <laughs> no. What do I care? I love it. I lo even Alex put it on last night. She's just there for the loving. Yes. <laughs> what do I care about wallpaper? Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah. Somebody said last night that. Uh, uh, that I was uh, complaining about Tony and his mother and whether the ghost of his mother exists and will complain. No, if he, good grief. Will complain if he changes the wallpaper. And then I mentioned my dead father, who I kind of had some kind of a little meeting with in the studio he used to work out of. But I, yep. I said that aesthetically. I didn't say that, that I was pl talking to ghosts, okay? Good grief, people. God damn it. Yeah. It would figure that you would be married to him, you know, because he's talking to ghosts. <laughs> he needs to get one of these people to come through the house and get rid of all the Ghostbusters. Or I think he, I think Tony is really worried that his mother does haunt the house. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. And you know, <laughs> you know, hey, listen, she does not haunt the house, and if she's there, it is all good. Oh, very nice. See, that's a nice yeah. way of yeah. So you are married to him? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. I just wanted to Thank make you. sure. Thank you. I mean, that's something about Tony. Things you don't know about Tony. He's I married, thought I was right. married to Kathleen. I thought I was in line, Kathleen. I thought you and I would get along great. <laughs> Damn it. We'd be making jokes all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> keep each other in stitches. You, you, you couldn't keep up with her, Alan. <laughs> well, I'm hoping she'd teach me, so, you know. <laughs> Today's lesson is saddle spanky. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! Oh well. Anybody else want to call the show tonight, or what? Uh, you know, or do I just sit here? I've been. So I got a question for you. Yeah, sure. Did you go walking today? Yes, I did. It was a nice day, right? I went walking. Yeah, it was a very nice day. How uh, far did you walk? Well, I did about. I did about. I, I tur accidentally turned off. Then had my uh, wrist watch off for a while, mm -hmm. and I. But I think I. I did about a mile and three quarters. Oh, something okay. like that today. Uh, he I, walked until the Statue of Liberty decided to lay down. That's how tired that's she what, was. That's where I went. You saw the video. I did. Isn't that a great statue? It's awesome. Yeah, they got a statue. Uh, they got a, this. Uh, it's a, a what can you call it? A, a, a huh? A model. A model or something like that of yeah. the Statue of statue. Liberty lying down. Yeah. Yep. Like <laughs> and um, uh, it's it's pretty good. You know, it's really cool. And so I did a video there. I did my little mm. uh, thing. You can go to Facebook. I, it's there. And uh, I, t I took a picture there with it, or video there with it. And then I had this out today, but I, I'm still trying to learn how to use it. It's got so many bells and whistles now. This is the new uh, GoPro. 
This is the Girl GoPro Nine. And the Did thing you buy is, that today, or is that one of the ones you were talking about last night? Uh, I bought this. Uh, I bought this. Uh, oh no, I think you were talking about it Tuesday. I bought this a couple of days ago. But wait a minute, I'll show you what it does. You're right, Al. It was Tuesday. You Tuesday. see, I mean, it has. Um, he was talking about it with Phil. You see, it it has a video thing there, you know, for your normal shooting. But if you look on the front. You've got another screen so that you can do selfies. See? So it's really, it's You could really have saved good. all that money. You can do selfies with a smartphone. Huh? Now I want to. <laughs> I, I, I said you could do selfies with a smartphone. You, you could do selfies with a smartphone? Yeah, I have a selfie stick yeah. that I bought. I took one selfie and that was it. I didn't like it. You, you got a selfie what? I, it's a selfie stick that you put the smartphone on and it yeah, extends like out like kid like, juice like right this. before they get knocked over the waterfall. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you have it on when you're at Niagara Falls and then you're stepping out on the edge of that rock. Well, you see, I've got a little strap here that I can put around my hand so it doesn't fall Strap off. it on. Now, if yeah. I fall in, then it goes with me. Yeah, well, that so we get to yeah. see the whole thing all the way down. Yeah, but it's even better. This is the uh, I, I now can line up all my GoPros. I have the seven, I have the three, the seven, and the nine now. Good God! You know, uh, remember the three chip digital that you brought when we oh, went to I mean, Europe? You remember when I was dragging cameras all over Europe, and it was yeah. like it was like uh, they were in my face and up my ass. I'm trying to remember which one I was using for that, video. For that but it was it was fairly big, and it was three chip. It was a three. -chip. Actually, it was quite petite. Yeah, it, I, I remember the one. It, the ass or the, the camera? It, it, it went bad on me. It went bad what on me. What are we me. talking about tonight? Jeez, this is great. Company. Yeah, it went bad on me, but that was my favorite camera. But it was Thanks about, about that big. Me, but it's not as small as this, and the quality. And this is this is five K. Okay, this will shoot five K. I, I mean, know, oh. but back in 97, the three-chip digital was broadcast quality. No, it wasn't really. It was still... Well, you it, said it was. Well, you lied. Well, it was the closest <laughs> thing I could get to it at the time because of the technology. But this beats, okay, any, of the, the beat, this beats any of the broadcast cameras out there. I mean, wow. really, it's, it's, it's phenomenal. But I, the thing I don't like about it is how small it is. It's a little unwieldy being small. By the way, it also has, um, you know, you, you can shake it like crazy and it's not going to look like it's shaking at all. And this also has a horizon leveler where I could turn the thing actually upside down. It will still stay straight on the horizon. Boo, no fun. Yeah, no what fun. do you mean, boo, no fun? Why? You want boo, it? no fun. Oh. You can't get those Batman. Well, I can turn that off and then I can get the Batman thing. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, that's my newest toy. That, and I'm going to buy four eight terabyte drives to put in my NAS here. Oh, that sounds, that sounds nasty. That sounds nasty, doesn't it? That sounds filthy. Boy, I'm going to shove those NAS, those <laughs> drives right in my NAS. No, NAS is a, it's a, it's a, um, um, a network uh, dis uh, array, and uh, I, you can't, possibly lose anything on them if one of the drives goes bad it you simply put a new drive in there and it just rebuilds uh and all the material is safe so i don't feel mm -hmm. i feel that if i have that going I'm, in, I'm much safer than if i'm using like hard drives here which go out all the time you know all of a sudden they disappear on you stop nobody likes alex going through a grand mal seizure did i ever tell you the time ow there, there was a time I went down. You, you, you know, you, you know the beach in San Francisco, out where the Cliff House is, right? You know, and there's that whole seawall there. You know, yeah. And I, I, one night I went out there where one sunset. I went out there with a girlfriend. I don't think it was you. I think it was some other some woman other that I was going with at the time <laughs> before I met you. Right. And and I am I, I walk out onto the beach. And I'm looking at the sunset, and I turn around and I look at this wall, and in big giant letters, the height of the wall, it says, 
Nobody loves Alex Bennett. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Was I depressed? I'm I mean, sad. God, you know, somebody took time to spray paint or to take, uh, you know, paint or something. And in big letters, I mean, this high, okay? I mean, yeah. across the seawall. Nobody loves Alex Bennett. Uh, maybe it wasn't you. Maybe it was a different Alex Bennett. And I it looked was at the woman. Probably Fish Princess. And, and, and I, yeah, I was looking at the woman I was with at the time, and I went, "Is that true?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that he true? said, "Buy me another diamond ring, and it won't be." But one of the chances I was going to go out to the beach and turn around and see this thing. I'd never went out to that beach. And who it thought to write else. it on this seawall? Yeah. Life is a beach. If you're, uh, if no, you're, if, it's a bitch. If you're out Especially there watching, she puts, nobody loves Alex Bennett. If you're no, out maybe there watching, she went out there first. What? If you're out there, did she have spray paint on her fingertips or something? No. <laughs> but, but if whoever did it is out there and is watching this, which is probably impossible, please let me know. I would like to know who put that up there. You know? Yeah. Really. That's how popular I was. Now 52 new people joined. Hmm? <laughs> no, we don't get any. You know, with, with I pain. should say that somewhere, mm -hmm. someplace, it says uh, subscribe. Right? On the, on the uh, rocks? Uh, no, on the YouTube page. <laughs> oh. <laughs> on the rocks. <laughs> Talking about the rocks and the, I'm like, subscribe to what? <laughs> subscribe. On the YouTube page. Oh, 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 okay. I oh, okay. And, yeah. and, and everybody who has a, you know, YouTube thing going, always say, and don't forget to go down there and subscribe. And I've never, ever told people to go down there and subscribe. Now, I can't even find it on the page. I don't know where it is. I don't see it. That sounds so bad. Go down there. You go down there right. and subscribe. And subscribe. Hey. Hmm? I'm going down there. Does it say subscribe anywhere on that page? Yeah. Oh, oh, it, yeah. Do oh it does. Oh, okay. Right underneath where it says share and save. Oh, I see. It also says subscribe. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, if, if everybody would touch and hit that subscribe, it would help the program a great deal if you would hit the subscribe. Uh, I don't know how it will help it, but it will uh, it, you just subscribe. And nothing will happen. No one will come. No salesman will call. <clears throat> Okay. And one person will win $1 million. No, no. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> but if you subscribe, you may need uh, a Here, prescription. I got it. I got it. They will win a chance to win $10 million. A what? what I'm going to do is I'll buy a lotto ticket, and the winner will get the lotto <laughs> ticket. And good luck, you know, but you, yeah. you have a chance to win. A scratched off. That's what lotto our ticket. that's what our governor did here for vaccinations. They said you have a chance to win five million dollars. And I'm uh, going, oh our well. Our governor outdid him. Oh wait a minute, let me finish. He said five million dollars. I'm going, well, we finally are beating out Ohio with this deal. But it turns out, no, you're getting a fucking twenty dollar lottery ticket that could get you five million dollars. You know. Yeah. Come How on. about a free Harley? I want a free a free Harley, Harley. right? Yes. I want a free Harlot. You know, da -da -bum 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 -bum. Oh, nobody used one. She's yeah. spray painting a wall somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So anyway, so um, um, uh, where were we? Oh yeah. No, I don't know where we were. We weren't anywhere. I was, I was petting vegetables, and you guys were heckling me. <laughs> My daughter asked, "Why are they talking about you?" Were you you um, were cutting vegetables? I was, yeah, I was cutting some vegetables up, and yeah, you guys were saying, "Where's well, Neri?" Oh, uh, well, uh, well, uh, no, we were just we were we just you know we like you, and we were wondering where you were, and if you were chopping vegetables, we you're you're allowed to do that, especially if it's for your for lovely Adrian. I almost cut off my finger. Did you oh, really? No. no. Oh. Hmm. I've never lost a limb yet. So, well, on. thank God. You yeah. know, yeah. my godfather lost. My godfather lost them on the the lawnmower. 
I know what he's doing. Reach his hand in there some for some reason, and the thing cut cut a couple of fingers off. I'm gonna oh. tell you a story. This is a scary story. I was working in Houston, Texas, something a place that uh, uh, Charlie's aware. very aware. Of. I was working at uh, at K S U K. I thought it was K F C. No, it was K O C K. Oh, okay. God, you know, I can't remember the name of the station now. Boy, I'm... (laughs) K-U-N-T. Anyway, uh, I was... Oh, K... uh, No, it wasn't K-5. K-G-A-Y. Come on. Now you're really screwing with me. Now I'll never come up with it. Okay. (laughs) J-B-L-O. I'm sorry. What is she smoking up there? I can't believe that I can't remember the name of this radio station. My bad. Um, uh, but anyway. Oh, that's it. it. Ain't my bad. KPD. <laughs> oh, forget it. Um, K-I-L-T. K- so you were in Houston, Texas. What about the story? Well, it's K-I-L-T, yeah. Okay. Killed. Oh, that's yeah. the only Houston station I know. Yeah, yeah. killed. Uh, killed. Uh, anyway. I was working at KILT. I was almost going to say KILT, and then my mind was going like, wasn't that in San Francisco? And, yeah. mm-hmm. See, I'm out of it. It's, it's this drug I take. Anyway. <laughs> I, you stick to that story. I was at Kilt. Oh, shit. Uh, and I was James Bond there. That's where I did the James Bond thing, right? Um, with a license to Kilt. Get it? <laughs> anyway, anyway. So they had, they always did these things where they were, it was almost like they were trying to kill off the staff, you know? They would do all these stunts and stuff. So they had this stunt where uh, out of the Astrodome, they put up a big, you know, one of these dunking machines? Oh, yeah. You know, and a with, dunk a dunk, tank. with a, du- a dunk tank. Yeah. And so they say, we want you to get out on the thing and do the dunk tank. And I said, okay, I'll, I'll, I guess I'll do it, you know. So I, we get there, and they go, well, we got bad news. He said, what? We haven't had time to fill up the tank. What the hell? <laughs> Don't give it no water. Go sit on the bench, I Alex. Said, I, yeah, it, no, no I don't know kidding. if you've ever seen these things without water in them. Right. But it's about a nine-foot drop. <laughs> yeah. And, and a bunch of people, a bunch of baseball players from the Astros were going to come out and try to hit the target and dunk me. But, you know, they're going to dunk me into midair. And I'm not going to do that. So now they say, well, go out there. Get on that uh, thing. Sit there. And I'm not going to sit there. And I'm kind of holding on to the side of this thing. And they're yelling and screaming at me. And the Astros are starting to throw balls at this target. And I'm not exactly on the seat because I don't want to be on the seat because I'm going to break a leg or something. And so I'm holding on to this thing, and they're yelling and screaming. And finally, when it was all over, luckily the Astros were such lousy pitchers. <laughs> uh. They couldn't hit the target. And I got off of the thing, and they said, you know what nearly happened to you? And I said, no. I said, well, did you notice on the, on the, uh, on the dunking machine there's an armature? And you had your arm around it holding on to it, and uh. had they managed to hit the target... It would have gone up and cut your arm off. Oh, wow, wow! That's the closest I came to losing. That's the closest I've come to losing a limb. Mm. Yeah. Hey, that station was K D I E. (laughs) No, it was K I L T, which is pretty close. K A R M K R. Yeah. A R M. That's good. Uh, Kathleen, it was called. K, shut the fuck up. (laughs) You can spank me next time you see me. I would love to do that. (laughs) Make sure you got your GoPro on your wrist, please. (laughs) Uh Yeah. Only only there's a little difference between when you and I were going with each other and now because I'd spank you and they go, oh, my wrist is hurting from the arthritis. (laughs) You know, so it's, you know. In our automated machine, where these sit, yeah, I have one here. I have one here. Indexing, and indexing, and indexing across the way. Mm-hmm. They have these two cleats. They're like Teflon pieces. 
and this guy was cleaning the machine while he had it running. Okay. And this is like when we were first starting out in the company, so yeah. we didn't really have too much safety stuff. So <laughs> <laughs> as he was going, yeah. as he was indexing, because he had the doors open, and now you yeah, have everything safety. So you have the door open, everything shuts down. So he was he had a chem wipe, and every time it indexed, he was wiping it, wiping it, wiping it, and it would index. He dropped the 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 uh, the tissue. tissue, yeah, the 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 wipe, and oh, it indexed, and he grabbed it. He goes to grab it and it indexed, and it grabbed his finger and cut it off. Oh. So we wow. had to stop the machine, and one guy had to grab his finger and put it on ice, and we rushed him to the hospital. Did they get the <laughs> finger back on? Yeah, they did. And is it working now? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> or he, he just we walked. fired him after. That's right. You fired, fired him. He's now, a, he's now a proctologist. I know. I, I, I was just thinking they fixed the finger, and now when he walks by uh, by Brian's office, like he that. goes. <laughs> That's right. It's easier for him. <laughs> wow! Wow! It's a comedy hour. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, who so is our it? governor mm -hmm. beat your governor. And uh, with like 1.6 billion, if you get your uh, COVID shot, mm -hmm. you will be put into a lottery. Only people, not as you get the shot. But well, you, you see, you fuck that. I got my shot early on, and I'm not eligible for anything. You are here. You are here. Oh, really? And Cal, that's what I'm saying. It's not. We're not giving you 50 bucks to go get your shot. Once you get in the system, the state has a. A database of everybody that's got a shot apparently and the people that have already got a shot they've got a chance at winning you know i think the top prize is like uh you know twenty five hundred dollars or something that's not bad i mean you know so but there's a lot of prizes and they're good every it might prize. be i i understand uh, actually gavin newsom is giving away a prize for getting you know the shot every vote he can yeah get. That, no uh, getting the shot and it's uh, the first prize is dinner at the french laundry so. <laughs> well, fifteen hundred dollars is about right. Yeah, yeah. I think and Cuomo's. My, if you win, you get sexually harassed. Yeah. <laughs> you. Well, I, don't know, first shot. I don't. I don't know. Oh, you know, okay. I, 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 I think what's the big whoop? Number one, he's Italian, and Italian men. That's a man. The Italian men would come on to mud. You know, I mean, they're just the they're, they're, they're on the come make. On the mud. They're on the make constantly. Okay, and I, you know, if you're Italian, I don't think you're going to be bothered by me saying that. The only person that ruins that whole hypothesis is Tony, but that's another Aww. story. Because he's a good husband. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, Tony, if you're listening tonight, did you know you're married to Kathleen? He knows. Yeah. Oh, he does. He could be worse. He could be married to Alex. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyway, where were we? Uh oh, uh, talk uh, Italians. Cuomo. Oh, yeah, no. So That's I mean, a matter. so I mean, it, 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 he grew up kind of being that way, not being rude particularly, but you know, being amorous. Let's say. And today you can't even be amorous. Forget <laughs> it. You know, you can't say, I can't say to Kathleen, hey, you're wearing a nice dress today. I'll get, I'll suddenly get hauled before some committee and, and have to atone for my <clears throat> sins. That's know? pretty pathetic. And I think we've gone a little too far on that. Yeah. You know, I think that, I mean, if I were around today, I mean, <laughs> date. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> yes. Dead. Yes, Tony. You're I'm, a ghost. I'm a ghost. Uh, no, if I were if I were out dating today, if I were doing my radio program like in San Francisco and I were dating today, I would have to be very careful about my behavior. I mean, just in dating, you know, am I right? Now, I, you know, I, I think if you had Internet today, you would be dangerous. In what respect? Uh, this goes back to Kathleen the other night. When you just, <laughs> she said she didn't have cell service and you said do you have internet service and she's like yeah duh i'm talking to you right now well you know i mean i i would be called to account for a lot of the jokes and stuff we did on the radio show in the morning and things really? like that oh yeah yeah my favorite being you know why women have periods because they deserve them 
Okay. Not, not even Charlie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What, what, did, no, no. what did Feldman usually say? Did Feldman say something about a woman bleeding for three days? And oh, oh no, that was Slayton. That was Slayton. Uh, Slayton I don't, I don't trust anybody that can bleed for three days and not die. Yeah, <laughs> Slayton. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I'll never forget David Feldman. We went out to, um, there was a steakhouse right down the street from, um, you know, it was on uh, frickin' Chestnut. What was the name oh, of that place? There, there. It had the uh, cream spinach. What the hell? Oh, that so was a, a, a house, no, house of prime rib. No, no, nope. no, 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 no. That's the place I used to take everybody to. Yes. Uh, no. And so it was you, me, and Feldman went there, and we ate dinner and stuff. And you go, "Oh, I've got this. I'll pay for this." <laughs> and they bring the credit card. Thing no, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Feldman leaves the tip, and he no, leaves it on no, your no, credit no, card. No, 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 he says, no. He says to me, he says, "Oh, hey, Alex, I know you're picking oh, up the check, you. but let me take care of the tip." And I'm thinking to myself, you know, when did I ever know Feldman, this cheap bastard, he has 20 to, bucks to, onto e it. to ever pick up a check, right? So he says, uh, let me take care of the tip. And I said, oh, okay. So he takes the thing that they hand me for the yep. credit card, and he writes the tip on it and says, there. There you go. <laughs> and he's not even Jewish. He is Jewish. Yeah, yeah with, a name like, with a name like Feldman, he's got to be so. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Thought he was funny, but no. But I mean, you know, just the things to, that we that we said on the air, uh, you know, that we didn't mean anything by it. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, do, can you imagine Rodney Dangerfield? Take my wife. Oh no, Henny Youngman. Take my wife, please. Right. Oh, that's a sexist joke. That's a. You know, my son and I were watching Jeff Dunham, and I'm telling my son, "Holy shit." He could not do that oh, now. Oh, 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 Senor Jalapeno? Yeah, oh, yeah. My, oh, uh, all of everything. I was, yeah. we were dying, and I said, oh, no. I've told you. couldn't you, do it I, now. They can. I, I've told you guys my Jeff Dunham story. Yep. Oh, yep. God. He was crazy. This guy was nuts. He was out of his mind. I mean, he had these puppets, and they were just, he... He was like attached to them, like they were part of his. Well, his... since he was a kid, he was an only child. Mm -hmm. No, but I, I, you know, he he had some pretty racist puppets. Oh, of course. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing for an act now, but Nothing. all I know, all I know, I... he had this grumpy old man, and I had I. They wanted me to take a picture with him for comedy Walter, tonight, yeah. right? Walter, Walter, yep. And uh, um, um, so we're we're sitting there. And it's uh, Dunham, it's this cranky old man puppet, and <laughs> and me, and um, he looks over at me while they're taking the pictures and says, "I hear you don't like prop comics," and I said, "No, I don't mind prop comics. It's ventriloquists I can't stand." <laughs> and what the, a great picture! And the grumpy old man literally turns over to me like this and bears his teeth and i'm going this guy is nuts <laughs> you know so they had i remember one of the early morning zoos that one of the stations called their their show the zoo well they all <laughs> called themselves oh, the zoo. Yeah, okay so so one of the guys says i don't remember who many years ago he says do you know what they call a mexican baptism and everybody's like scratching their head you know, for a minute, and he says a bean dip, and I got to tell you, it was funny. But I think nowadays it would be horrible. Oh, today you'd be out of a job. Oh yeah, yeah. you'd be out of a job. Yeah, I know. I read all the time online about broadcasters who pull at some kind of joke, and it's a little in just. A, I mean, compared to the stuff we were doing back in the day, it was minor. And uh, uh, and and they're out them. the door. They they're gone. Uh, uh, Tim Conway, remember Tim Conway, the sure, comic, sure. Uh, yes. uh, Carol Burnett, had a son, mm -hmm. his name is Tim Conway Jr., and he works at KF, well, he did work at KFI in Los Angeles, and he did a, a team show with some other woman. There was some guy who uh, they were making fun of who was a broadcaster on television or something like that who had an Asian wife. And he, Conway did an Asian voice and they did some kind of joke. It was kind of, it wasn't, it wasn't really, uh, 
what could we call it, racist in nature. It was just, you know, he's, but it was him doing an Asian voice. Fired. Fired. Just, you know, it's not like, why don't you go on the air and apologize, or why don't you take a few days off and then come back and apologize? It was, goodbye, you're through. Go to work for Fox News where they won't fire you for stupidity. Well, no, they, they probably fired Fox News for that, really? too. Sure, they fired uh, Janine Pirro. How come yep. they don't get rid of Hannity? Well, well they will. Speaking of a loser. They, they will, you know. Hannity's days are numbered. Uh, you're quiet tonight, Trucker Steve. Mm -hmm. Sorry. No, then don't be sorry. Uh, well, I, I actually got my first shot on Monday. Yeah, and how'd it go? Uh, In the okay. arm. Yeah. I had a little bit of a sore arm, but not too bad. Oh, that's uh, that I, always happens. My wife got hers the same day, um, and she had a really sore arm. Yeah, but that um, that's that's the, that's a common. A reaction, really okay, but that's a common reaction. Uh, the the second shot, a lot of people get like flu symptom symptoms for a day or so, and then it's it's fine, you know. <clears throat> yeah, my sister in law just was going through breast cancer right now. She just had her second shot, mm -hmm. yes, yesterday, and she had a really bad headache this morning. Yeah, and the chills. Yeah, well, that that, that happens sometimes. No but it goes away, you know, and it's a sign that it's working, you know. So, so I understand they're uh, giving shots at Mar Lago now. Are they? <laughs> Come on. No, they're doing shots at Mar a Lago. Oh, yeah. that's it. I, I got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, the um, uh, oh, you know, the what got me kind of weird was did you hear me with Pearl about him and and his shot? Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, he finally yeah. got his shot. I can't get. Oh. No, he hasn't got. He hasn't gotten a shot yet. What's he waiting and for? And I go, "You're gonna go get your shot." He goes, "Yeah, sure, 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 I am." You know, I'm going. Come on, you know, don't be. Is don't he be anti vax Is he Republican? No, no he's no. just lazy. You know, I think some people aren't getting the shot because they're afraid of getting shots. Yeah, that's possible. You know, I think they, they got to come out with an oral vaccine if they're gonna really nip this thing in the bud so easier i mean they don't they don't usually make oral vaccines but they make well, pills. They, you take the to, if you get covid you take the pills well they did the oral vaccine for for polio and and yeah. what happened was the sabin the uh, the uh, what do you call it the uh, salt vaccine which was the in injection it uh, did okay but they got they went to they got every kid in the world practically inoculated when Sabin came out with the oral vaccine, mm -hmm. and that changed the whole dynamic of it. That was yes. the sugar cube, right? Yes. Yeah, because kids didn't, you know, kids are afraid of getting a shot. Yeah. Oh my God, I loved getting a shot when I was a kid. It was the smell of isopropyl alcohol. <laughs> oh yeah, give me that shot. Oh yeah, baby, let me get high. This is the sickest woman I've ever known. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You know, uh. <laughs> yeah, the kids got their shots. The kids got Simon, their shots. Simon and Stephanie got their first shot. Stephanie just sat there bored, and then Simon almost ripped the needle out of her hand because he moved. He kept moving when she was trying to put it in his arm. Oh, boy. He hates shots. So I, I took a picture, and he has, like, one foot on the ground like he's ready to make a... a you know, so you him. just got to tell him that if he just sits there and lets them, let them do it, he won't even feel it, really. <laughs> I mean, you know, these these needles today are if you if you just move accidentally, it'll it'll give you the injection. I mean, it, it, they're, they're, it's not like the old days where they had a big fat needle and they stuck it in your arm. Now yeah. Wait till he gets a little bit older, Brian, and has to get a cortisone shot. Yeah. Then it, the needles grow in size. There we go. That was, that was the one I, I got there. And it's still yeah, but I that, still got a black and blue mark. Yeah. This is two weeks, two and a half weeks later. Yeah. yeah, and I may have to go back for more because it's still bothering me. A little my bit. bruise is almost gone on my arm. I and, closed the door, and this is an important hand for me. You know, <laughs> three weeks later, I need all the dexterity I can there. I'm sure. You know, occasionally I sleep on it so it goes numb, and then I think it's somebody else. 
Are you talking about your penis or your hand? <laughs> no, that's when you use your left hand. That's right. The ultimate rejection while your hand goes to sleep while you're masturbating. <laughs> that's like experience. Yeah, that is the ultimate rejection. It is. Yeah. Or if your hand refuses to move. Yeah. God, I hate when that happens. <laughs> I mean, if you've got to like, move your hand a lot and do that, it's uh, kind of like being married. Yeah. On the next episode of Handerella. Yeah. yeah. The hand that wouldn't move. Yeah, right. But no, I still have a little, little pain there from the uh, uh, little, uh, you know, I'm hoping that it <clears throat> completely goes away. But if it doesn't, it doesn't hurt as much as it did. It's not like a Your carpal tunnel? No, no. No. Why didn't they give you the shot? Because I had arthritis. Because it hurt. I have arthritis. Oh, arthritis. arthritis. Oh. Yeah. This is a very common place, by the way, for people to get arthritis. And I have carpal tunnel in my right wrist, and they give me a shot every four months. Well, you know, I, I what's that tunnel that goes between uh, uh, San Francisco? Caldecott. Caldecott. Yes, right. <clears throat> and uh, she said Caldecott. Okay, just want you to know that. Uh, and it's the Caldecott tunnel, and at one point uh, there was an explosion. In the Caldecott yeah. tunnel, remember that that, yep. uh, gasoline, that oh, tank, gasoline tanker truck that in the middle yeah. of the tunnel blew yep. up, right? Yep. yep. And after that, they didn't have uh, any fire suppression in there. Now they do. And they couldn't uh, do they couldn't uh, do traveling through there to San Francisco for a week or so, and yep. that became known as carpool tunnel syndrome. Yes. <laughs> Carpool <laughs> tunnel up, syndrome. Well, lucky old California. The new Jeff class. Carpool I, I, tunnel syndrome. You like don't Dr. Have to say Steve, it carpool tunnel syndrome. You don't have to say it slower or louder. We heard you the first time. Carpool <laughs> tunnel syndrome. We got it. We got it. So I understand. It'll be at the punchline the rest of the week. Try the veal. <laughs> With <Yeah>. nobody there. <laughs> California's right, going to yeah. decriminalize. Psychedelic what? drugs because they're used in psychiatry now. Oh, really? All of them? Yeah, you were talking about it the other night. All of them? Are they using mm -hmm. LSD? Are they doing? LSD? I don't know what they're using. Psilocybin they, psilocy mushrooms. Well, psilocybin, time. I know they're doing for for cancer patients who want to oh. deal with death. It helps them accept it. You know. Maybe we should have an Alex Bennett LSD show. Could you imagine that? I mean, I'll send you all a tap of acid, and we'll all do it totally. at the same time and see what what happens on the show. Yep. Yeah. 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 And only my um, husband won't take it because he doesn't do drugs, Tony. That's right. He doesn't. <laughs> As well as the first time. By the way, how long have you and Tony been married? Uh, two weeks. Two weeks. Okay. You were the one that suggested it, right? Yeah, you, you were the one that said that. Alex. Yeah, you said get him a girlfriend. And you said yep. I said get yeah. him a girlfriend, not a wife. Well, she's very, <laughs> she's <laughs> over a deeper. Yeah. I mean, Give him a break, Brian. He's having trouble remembering, you know, things from ten minutes ago. You want him to remember two weeks ago? What? About, what? What didn't I remember two minute, ten minutes ago? <laughs> what? He's already forgot. Yeah. He never forget it. <laughs> he really wants is a new, <laughs> new mother. By the way, hit the subscribe button. When you... <laughs> hit the subscribe. Is it, I wonder if, it, if since I told people to hit the subscribe button, I can find out here. Has anybody hit the subscribe button? Watch nobody. I take right? my shirt off, but I'm married. Wait a minute, hold on a second. Your yeah. husband will never know. Do, do you know how many people do you know how many people have hit the subscribe button since I suggested hitting the subscribe button? Zero. Negative one. Zero. That's right. Do as you're told. No, it's still the same as it was before. Yeah. Yeah. Same oh, as it ever was. Do, you, do I have any women on my uh, on my Facebook page here who You scared them all away? Well Or I, I mean, did. You know, we have, uh, 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 let me see here, a uh, friend. I think all these women that were coming friend. to you were from the Betty Ford Clinic. If friends request. Oh, here, we got some new ones tonight. Uh-huh. Yeah, oh, wait a minute, hold on a second, folks. Show uh, them, wait a minute, go slow because let, I want to get a let, picture let of them. Let me see here, do I want to, 
Uh, let me see here. Do I Mike want... Hunt? Uh, here, that's probably one of them. Here's uh, Smith Carey. I don't. I don't see. I mean, she doesn't look like she wants to be my fan. You know. <laughs> So we'll delete her. Here's Kate Adola Alley. Oh, oh, she has a baby. She's a mother. Okay, yeah, yeah, and, and or either that or she's selling the baby. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Uh, Gr uh, Gregory, we'll get yeah, and Greg David. I, Guadalupe Garcia. You better check ID on that one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah there, there we go. Gotta get on YouTube. Guadalupe Garcia <laughs> with pictures of kids with braces on their teeth. What the hell is that? What the hell? Here is. Uh, let's see here. Um, let's Guadalupe Garcia. I hit the delete, and uh, I delete him. Oh, Christina Harris. So she looks like maybe she's legit. Maybe I don't know. No, she didn't look legit. Well, I'll keep her. I won't get. She her. also looks like she's fourteen. Uh, <laughs> what? There, there is somebody that there is somebody that asked me to be friends, and they're friends with all you guys. Oh, yeah, really? I get those all the time. Yeah, Mitchell, Michelle, Michelle. You know yeah. this fourteen-year-old. Oh, not year old, that Michelle. This fourteen-year-old uh, just came from the governor's house. Now she wants to be your friend, Alex. <laughs> Stop it already. That's my guess. <laughs> you know what? What are you, what are you doing? You putting? Oh, you mean our governor? You putting down our governor? You making fun of our governor? Yeah. You know. Hey. Yeah. yeah you know. And I also right. hate it when they come up with things that somebody supposedly did twenty years ago. Yeah. They got the memory this, all of a sudden. Woke well, up. it was this girl. I think Cosmo had a Teen Cosmo, or yeah. something, or Teen Vogue. That was it. Teen Vogue. She got fired. Because of something I know, it was she stupid. Put, Twenty fucking years ago. Who gives a she shit? She was seventeen or something. Yeah. yeah. People change. She oh said, my God, she, she said, was a kid. I was seventeen. I was stupid. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Well, you know, we got to hold it against you now. What do you mean, hold it against you now? I also get tired of these uh, these radio stations that fire people because they posted something on Twitter. Exactly. Wait a minute. Or since Facebook when, or whatever. Since it, they didn't do it on their radio show. What's Twitter got to do with it? You know. And what uh, does your outside life have to do with your job? Yeah, yeah exactly. It's it's just gotten insane. It's you an know? invasion of privacy. You know, and there are people getting fired who I'm not. I don't feel bad about because like right wingers <laughs> and things like that. But geez, you know. Here's a part I think I don't get. In the last three minutes, of four, five minutes of the show, and I'm bringing it up. Why the hell are the Republicans fighting against a uh, uh, January 6th commission? What, what could they possibly have against trying to just suss the whole thing out and get all the information they can about what happened that day? What, they don't what, want Trump to be mad at them. But what is wrong Absolutely. with it? You know, what what are they what are they what are they finding so <clears throat> terrible about it? They don't have a good argument against it. You know, and it's not. You some, know, it's like a mental illness. It really is. It is. Yeah. You know. I mean, what the hell do these people? They cannot discern between right and wrong. I mean, really, that's what it comes down to. Yeah, I mean, it's that bad. It's that bad. I mean, I just, yeah. I just don't understand it. Come on, we hold a commission. We want to find out. We did a, we did a nine eleven commission in which they went in yep. and checked to see why it happened and how it happened and so on, you know. But no, we can't have a committee to check something in which there are a bunch of people attacked the Capitol. Uh, you know, we, it they cost be... forty million dollars worth of damage. Yes, to the Capitol. Yes, yes. right. And somehow it not, it's like nothing happened, you know. Oh, it was just another yeah, day. And then the these park. stupid folks that you know, you know, broke the law were like, oh, "Trump told me to," and I'm like, "Oh, oh, I'm so ashamed to be a human." I mean, are they are people that stupid? Yeah. I guess so. Mm -hmm. There's enough of them that are raising okay. their hands. Wait a minute! You've just come to the conclusion that Americans are stupid. I mean, America is a very stupid country. 
In yeah, fact, it's too. hard to believe that we're the only Eight. intelligent ones here, except, of course, for Trucker Steve, who isn't an American, so we can't count him in on this conversation. Oh, that, that's low. What do you we mean? Have, He's a Canadian. People. He's a Canadian. We, I understand He's that. lucky. He's a people. Canadian. He gets health uh, stuff and everything. Live chat, 46 people. Live chat? What? 46, yeah, the, 40, the, the uh, YouTube chat has got 46 people. 47. 47 are watching yep. right now as of this That's moment. That's because we haven't mentioned the T word. Yeah. Tits? No. <laughs> well, as long as there are 47 of you, don't forget. Wait a minute, wait a minute Kathleen. Tits have a purpose. Trump had none. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Wait a minute. Let me go over <laughs> and see if anybody's hit the subscribe button. What are you talking about? <laughs> Yes. Nobody said the, the sub- secret the, word but, is, but, and then flash it across the bottom, and that's. By the way, subscribe. you'll be happy to hear that nobody has hit the subscribe button yet. <laughs> the people that are listening don't know how to do that, Alex. Yeah. You go- what do you mean? You just go down there and click on the subscribe button. Okay. Yeah, I'm un- unsubscribe. No, no, don't do that. Oh, just see. <laughs> You got, you got, okay, uns, unsubscribe. <laughs> unsubscribe. Let me see what happens here. I, I unsubscribed. You unsubscribed? All, oh, okay, shit, let me I'm look. Let me look. Yep, it showed. Oh, really? Okay, so now subscribe again. Okay. That way I also feel good that somebody's... Right down here, people, subscribe. Yeah. Hit the okay, red subscribe. Okay, let me see here. <laughs> Wait a minute, it hasn't come back. Did you subscribe? Yeah, I did. I did. I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe. There is it is. A... Okay, we're back. Okay, it's working. Yeah. Good. I'm glad we can verify YouTube. Yeah. So uh, nobody, nobody, folks, is subscribing. So if you don't hit the subscribe button, you can't watch the show from here on in. How's that? Yeah, just threaten everybody. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. should be like, man, we don't want you watching our show. Well, Kathleen's Fuck all gonna, y'all. Kathleen's do gonna not ca- subscribe. <laughs> Kathleen's going to come up to, out to your house and beat the crap out of you. <laughs> right? Right, Kathleen? Here. Don't worry, <laughs> Kathleen. I'll be sitting in the car with the engine running. Awesome. <laughs> I'm playing here with spermatozoa. Oh. If you have a truck even better, I'll just dive into the back. Yeah, sure, right. no problem. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll have my shotgun ready in case somebody chases you. Oh, really? Okay, well, I'm divorced now. <laughs> Wait a minute, did you now, divorce? Where's your husband? Was he cheating on you? Wait a minute, did you no. divorce Tony? Oh, actually, no. Tony would never cheat on me. I would never cheat on Tony. Yeah, but, but you He's just... not here. But you divorced him. How much of his comic book collection did you get? <laughs> None of it. Yeah. I would, I would never be that way. You would never be that way? Oh. No, but you know, I was engaged one time, and I totally gave back the ring everything. What did really? you do with it, Alex? What? <laughs> what? He said, so what, what did you do with the ring? With it? She was engaged. What we were never you? engaged. Oh. We were never engaged. They said the engagement this ring. before I met you. No, they said there's the engagement ring, there's the wedding ring, and then comes the suffering. Boom. Wives the bitch until you divorce one. Oh, boy. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, well, it's like over. A funeral Thank there, God right? it's over, folks. Been there, Remember, done. don't subscribe. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't subscribe. Otherwise, your computer will explode. That's right. In fact, if you subscribe to anybody on the Internet, don't push that button. because If you subscribe, oh. you'll get a used lotto ticket. You get and it. you'll get canceled. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know. Uh, and Trucker Steve will come out to your house with his truck and run you over. Right? You'll get a dream, a, your dream date with Alex Bennett. Yeah. And I'll say you touch me inappropriately and I'll show them on the doll. <laughs> you are the doll. Anyway, uh, uh, thank you, Trucker Steve. Thank you, Charlie Wallace. Thank you, uh, Jeff. Uh, uh, thank you uh, uh, to uh, Brian Neary. See, I'm, I'm pointing these people out. Tickling under his nose here. There we go. And there's, uh, there's, uh, there's, uh, there's Kathleen. And I, I, of course, I'm not gonna. I'll go down here. You know, there's nothing there, but you know. 
And so, anyway, that's it for tonight. Everybody, uh, why don't you give a big uh, wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the citizen panel that we have assembled tonight. There'll be another one assembling next, right here on, uh, on GabNet, on the intersection with Jack Bishop. He's next over most of the same station. I'll see you tomorrow night uh, right here uh, for the last show of the week actually uh and so uh, as always uh if you see her tell her i love her and by the way if you haven't been vaccinated get vaccinated and if you're not vaccinated wear a mask and if you're uh you know just be safe that's all we want you to be we'll see you tomorrow night good night everybody Bye.